Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley if you're tuning in for the first time and get a load of this flawless install. Today I've teamed up with Sino Shore Hair to bring it to you straight out of the box. We're going for a beginner friendly 10 minute install and of course I'm bringing you guys along with me on the ride. We've got 220% density, 24 inches, color 33 body wave and it's giving everything and more for this holiday season. So if you're interested in seeing how we got this look, keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, girl, so this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. Let me just say the body wave is definitely body waving. This is some of the best body wave hair on the market, and the color is setting it off oh so amazing. Here's a look at the inside construction of the cap, and then we're going to go ahead and just put her on right away. She did come with some baby hair. So here is what she looks like from the back. You can see she's nice and full. That texture is definitely giving me life. And the color here is no disappointment at all. So let's jump right into the install portion of this video. I'm going to go ahead and just cut off enough lace to be able to see. Sometimes the lace on wigs just comes down way past your eyes and you want to cut that off so you can actually see what you're doing and also kind of like remove it around your eyebrows if you have them drawn on so that it doesn't like smear them out. Also I cut off any excess lace around the ears. Now I'm deciding what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to go with the half a pep down. I definitely am going to run this back throughout the week Week, but for now we're going to leave it down here is a look at the parting set as a center part of course i went with a c part which you've seen in the thumbnail and intro and this is pretty much how i do it just flick the wrists and do it as fast as possible and that's how you do it and just get it really good when you take your time and you go slow is really when you mess it up to be honest and so that's just what i'm learning just do it and have all the confidence and it'll come out better than when you second guess yourself and go slow now I'm going to go ahead and step out that parting. You guys already know I love my dynamic duo. Wax stick paired with the electric hot comb is 100% the best way to get everything flat, smooth, frizz free, looking like it's coming out of the scalp. No lumps, no bumps, and just absolutely amazing. After that step, I'm going to go in and tweeze out the hairline. I feel like even when a wig comes pre-plucked, a lot of the time you can still stand to go in a little bit more and just turn it up a notch and that is what we chose to do today. Now I went ahead and pinned it up and just doesn't it look good so with this banana clip? Here I'm showing you how beautiful and seamless the lace is. I cut off half and it looks like all of the lace is cut off. You literally cannot tell which side had the lace which is chef's kiss 10 out of 10. Here I'm taking the edge control from BDACBD.com and just slick slicking my natural edges back. This is key on your install to make sure everything is neat and clean, especially when working with color. You don't want natural brown hair poking out of a reddish brown colored wig. Now let's go ahead and bond her down. I did pull out the area of hair that I'm going to use for baby hair as well as sideburns and I'm just going to go ahead and train that hair to go in the direction I want it to go by pretty much pulling it out before I do the blow dry process. This definitely is a huge 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 key hidden gem when it comes to bonding your wigs down. We are going for the Eben product. I'll have it in the description box. I did go in and blow dry it down, but I did kind of add the melt belt after the fact so it can really, really get dry and really, really lock in that melt. And it definitely looks amazing. Here, I'm pulling a little bit more hair out for baby hair forward to really pull out that C. Now that I'm looking at it, my C is a little bent after I did that step. So I'm definitely going to go in off camera and fix that up. And that is the beauty of wigs. You definitely can always go in and touch things up, switch things up, customize even more. And I'm definitely going to take full advantage. Here I just used a mini flat iron to go ahead and curl the hair towards my face. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim it down as best I can and tweeze it out a little bit more. I could have definitely left the hair and not tweeze it out for that dramatic Instagram baby hair look. And I'm going to repeat that step with the sideburns. Did you catch me burning my cheek when I did that little jolt really quickly? It's amazing how often I will like burn myself and it's just like second nature at this point. 
I repeated that sideburn step off camera and this is my husband pretty much telling me goodbye as he went ahead and took my son to basketball practice coach lions and my mvp right here he's telling you guys to subscribe don't forget to like to subscribe now that i'm back to it we're gonna go ahead and add this foundation powder to the hairline and look how beautiful it looks sometimes on camera it will give a white cast so i am in the market to try a new product or maybe i just need to try a different color now we're done with the install process i did add concealer to the parting and i'm just going to add this frizz buster to the ends just to make sure i cancel out any frizz and define the hair a little bit more feel free to press the hair straighten the hair curl the hair crimp the hair whatever you choose i just wanted to accentuate the natural curls without wetting it down and just leaving it as natural as possible i'm gonna go in and touch up that hairline and look how snatched it is it definitely looks like it's coming out of the scalp flawless super duper flawless okay babies so we are done with the look i thought i was gonna go a little bit further and play with the ends but look how much beautiful texture the ends of this hair have i just want to preserve what they provided um and focus on like the hairline today so i'm trying to practice my instagram c part or curved part now i do feel like if you really really want to get this curved part like perfectly seed and curled it is best to do it on others or like a mannequin head to really really get in there but i kind of feel like this is the best as far as like the curve it goes this is the best I've done now as far as the baby hair I think I've done better before but I'm okay with this mainly because I'm probably gonna go back in and tweeze right here just a little bit more and bring a little bit more forward from here and here and make it more full but again that's the thing I love about wigs is that like I was doing this I've got a little bit frustrated so I decided to just leave it where it's at take a break and then I'll be able to go back in and see my mistakes and like fix it later so this one it's like a reddish brown color I love this color on my complexion you guys know fall time and winter time I really go crazy and I do plenty of this color throughout this season and this definitely is one of my favorites I love how beautiful the hair line looks and how much it matches my complexion also it didn't take much maintenance or anything like that the lace fit my head glueless i feel like it sat on my forehead like it was made to my head dimensions but it still needed to be melted for it really to melt down like to get this look if that makes any sense so like if this lifts during pilates it's gonna sit on my head good enough that like it fits glueless but i definitely would prefer to add a little bit of a non-glue adhesive over it just to make it really like be what it needs to be it also looks super cute up like in the claw clip the banana clip or whatever you call it so yeah i almost forgot to show you guys the packaging so here it is this is the dress bag the way it came in and all of the free goodies they included be sure to check them out direct link in the description box look i did use my favorite serum that was my mom's favorite back in the day it's oldie but goodie so i'll be sure to have that linked down below as well thank you guys so much for watching hope you're having a great holiday season if you celebrate christmas kwanzaa hanukkah whatever it may be i hope you guys are enjoying family and the weather and the food and so forth and so on thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches